Question 3 part 1 is asking us to complete the square of. Anytime you see a question asking you to write something in this form, that's completed square form. So it's kind of code for asking you to complete the square. So in order to complete the square of these types of questions where I've got a coefficient in front of the x squared, I take that coefficient out as a factor of the first two terms only. So I'm just going to take the factor of 2 out of these two terms. That's going to give me x squared inside plus 6x inside. And that 13 is just going to stay on the end there. Now that I've done that, I can complete the square of this bracket here. So I'm going to open a um, big bracket for the 2, and then I'm going to complete the square of this. And in order to complete the square of this, we need to halve the coefficient of x in that bracket and write it in a square bracket. So that's going to be x plus 3 squared. The reason we do that is because if I was to expand x plus 3 squared, we'd get x squared, we'd get two lots of 3x, so that's our 6x, and that's exactly what we've got here. But we'd also get this 3 squared term here, this 9, which I don't want. So I need to take that 9 away, I need to take away 3 squared. That's all inside the square bracket because that's what this x squared plus 6x is equivalent to. And I've still got my plus 13 tagged right on the end. So it's starting to look like this but not quite right yet. The next thing I need to do is now times this 2 back in side and get rid of the square brackets. So 2 times this whole term here is going to just be 2 times the bracket. And then I'm also going to have my 2 times my minus 9, which is negative 18. And I've still got that plus 13 tagged on the end. And finally, what I can now do is collect up those two terms that we've got on the end there, minus 18 and plus 13. And that will become negative 5. 